Right, what's going on with y'all, man? So, this video is going to be about entering my neighbor's dream. This was actually really fun. <laughs> I did this um this morning. This is, it was around like 2 a.m. type shit. This was one of the first times I ever really did something like this in a fully conscious way. Almost fully conscious because I, I started falling unconscious. I started literally succumbing to their dream. And just to the astral overall. It was it was really weird what happened towards the end. <laughs> but I feel like this is a really good video to help you guys understand different things about the astral and how it operates. Because, oh, wow, today's actually 616. Today's a portal day for getting into what your soul at least for the Patreon people. Damn. What? What's the date for the people on YouTube? About it? It's probably like, fuck, it might be July by the time y'all see this, to be honest. Holy shit. But, um, yeah, we was doing this back in June. The name is that, Ben, by the time y'all see this, my course may be out for astral projection. Because I was just about to mention that, how I'm making a course right now, right? And I wanted that shit out low-key last month in March. I mean, in May. Wow. I wanted that shit out in May. Listen, I'm like, why are you talking so much? Get to the experience. Let me, bro, let me do the full breakdown, bro. Drop a like real quick, too. You know what I'm saying? But this is important because when I, as I'm making the course, right, it's like I'm peeping that I do certain things sometimes. So, I, like, I started focusing on more things than, and I started doing certain things. And I, I started getting better at astral projection as I was doing the course and making the course, which has made me learn new things, which I'm going to put inside the course, which, because I already had other things that I had, that I, that I, Bro, it's so much stuff. Anyway, I had a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, that I was still adding to the course anyway. So it's like, nigga, I'm learning even more shit, you know what I'm saying? But one thing I wanted to do more was astral project at nighttime because people always say, don't astral project at night. More specifically in regards to leaving your body at nighttime, right? Dude, don't leave your body at night, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. Which I understand why they say that, right? It's more dangerous, right? But I'm like, bro, you naturally astral project at nighttime anyway. So I want to use that time in a beneficial way. And I get it. There's hella archonic forces, aka there's hella, which is say there's hella demonic forces, because that's essentially what it is. There's hella demonic forces on this planet that try to fuck niggas up with inside the astral and etheric. But it's just like real life, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like going to the hood. Like if you live especially like if you live in a nice area. Like if you live in like a really nice area, right? There's still things to worry about at nighttime, just like anywhere in the world. But it's like it's not that deep as like if you live inside the hood. But if you live in the hood anyway, it's more dangerous living in the hood anyway. At daytime and at nighttime. Like Start seeing the astral as like real life in a way, because that's actually something that I noted with inside the astral, with inside the experience. Ten twenty two, as I'm saying, I was gonna put it on my computer, and the guy had my fucking phone in my pocket. Boom. Ten twenty two, as I'm saying that shit, bro. Yo, people be, yo, I be having my friends text me and stuff like that. They be like, yo, better confirmation was spot on, bro. I needed that shit, bro. I'm like, yeah, bet. Yeah, my phone's about to die. I have my notes on my phone. I mean, I re I just did this shit last night, so I remember what happened, but I don't want to. Right, let me just look, let me look let me look over my notes real quick as I'm talking and shit to make sure I don't leave nothing out to just get like in my head everything I wanted to say, but um yeah I was already wanting to astral project more at nighttime. But something that helped a lot was using amber energy because amber is really good with like transmuting low vibrational energy and turning it into high vibrational stuff. So it's like and plus I already been training to fight different beings anyway and i'd be going to sleep with protection and stuff like that anyway so it's like i was already kind of training for this and i've been like i've been it's, it's, it's been a lot of stuff also i've been finding out about this cosmic lightning dragon form which came with a whole big test which i'm gonna talk about in a later video which the, i don't know if that was gonna be on youtube that one may go on youtube also which is gonna be a surprise if it does but i'm gonna make that video pretty soon especially like after monday probably on like tuesday probably it might be in a set it might be a, a et enlightenment video actually because that cosmic lightning dragon came with a lot of lessons bro you know what i'm saying there's a lot of stuff to learn from that you know and it's gonna tie into why i was even on some shit like nigga i want to leave my body at nighttime type shit you know what i'm saying here's why i say it like that because astral projection right there's different ways to see it because when you dream, right, you're astral projecting, right? It's just that you're not always seeing yourself come out your body and go there. Sometimes you just project your consciousness into that reality, right? Whether it be with inside your own imagination or you start projecting somewhere else. You should, like when you project somewhere else, 
all that really happens is that you kind of just move your imagination outside of this space and then put it somewhere else so if you go to Octorus, right you move your imagination body to Octorus, and you perceive it through your imagination and i say it like that because when you start going to higher planes right like if you go to the 7d right the 7d technically isn't it's actually formless it has no actual form right but when you go there with your astral body it gets interpreted through your astral body as having a certain kind of form aka it gets interpreted through your imagination as having a certain kind of form so that's why I'm saying it like that, because it's really weird and trippy how this type of stuff works. But long story short, like most of the time, right, like like one way that shaman, like shamans see themselves come out their body also, but sometimes they'll just like close their eyes, right, and then just have the image form in front of them and then just project to the image, right? That's how I usually, that's how I usually do stuff at nighttime. Like as, as my body's drifting off to sleep, right, like usually like I first start being reverie, right? And inside reverie, I'm getting rest, but I'm still aware of myself getting rest. And usually inside these states, it's more of like memories coming through and just random shit coming through that I'm in less control over. You know what I'm saying? Like I could control it, but that takes more energy. Therefore, I'm not getting rest, right? Once I feel rested enough, like sometimes I'll, I'll sometimes my body just like falls unconscious, which kind of makes me unconscious too. But it's like I'll at that point, I'll just astral project somewhere anyway. You know what I'm saying? But... In the in the more conscious ways, right? After I feel like my body's done getting rest, I pretty much tell my body to shut itself down. It's the same way that you would make yourself go to sleep, except I'm consciously doing it. You know what I'm saying? Then at that point, it's like as my body's shutting itself down, I would like, for example, one place I go to a lot is Azerath, right? This realm called Azerath, right? Um, as I'm projecting there, it's like I would see it like forming with inside my mind's eye, right? And it's like I'm just going there as my body's shutting down. And then I'll project there, right? You know what I'm saying? So I don't see myself just come out my body and stuff like that. I just appear there. You know what I'm saying? With inside that realm. And then I learned a whole bunch of shit, right? That's what I do a lot of the time, right? You know? And if I'm not like consciously having, because I don't always consciously set a place to go to. Sometimes I just stay in reverie and I just let my body shut down and it's like I'll project to where my gods want me to go type stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'll just end up being where my gods want me to go. You know what I'm saying? But when I say leave my body, I mean like actually seeing myself come out my body and being like inside my house, inside my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I've been wanting to do I've been wanting to do that a bit more consciously, right? At nighttime especially, you know? Cuz I could do that in the morning time. But like when it came to, like, doing that shit at nighttime, I never really, like, I've done it before, but not really like that. And every time I've done it, I've never really been that conscious doing it. You know what I'm saying? At this time, it was probably, like, 1.30 when I did that. Because when I woke up, it was, like, 2 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Damn near on the dot, actually, you know? And that's actually the time I wanted to come back. Because, like, it was, like, around 10-ish, right? When I started the whole reverie shit. And it was about, like, 11. Like, I, I wanted to, like, I wanted to do some, I wanted to do certain shit in the astral from 11 to 1. And then, like, come back and then do some shit from 1 to 2. You know what I'm saying? Which I ended up doing. Like, it wasn't as clean cut as it sounds when I'm saying that. Like, like the, like the times? Like, it was 2 o'clock. Like, damn, like it was it was actually 2 o'clock on a dot when I saw the time, literally. Did it, did it change right from there to 201? I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? But when I say it wasn't as clear cut, even though, like, I set that plan inside my head... I didn't did as like, okay, so from 10 to, to 11, I'm going to do this to 11. No, it was more like I just was going off that vibe. You know what I'm saying? Of, okay, I'm going to do this and that. Then it's around this time, so I'm going to do this and that. Then I'm going to do that. It, it's kind of what it was like. You know what I'm saying? So I was already doing a lot of stuff, actually, and stuff like that, right? Mainly on, like, some fighting shit. And then as I was coming back to my body, right, it's like... I felt that my body was still pretty much shut down and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So hold up. Let me let me check my notes real quick to make sure I don't I wanna I wanna get this inside my head so that I could just put this down and don't leave nothing out. Cause I don't want my phone to die, you know what I'm saying? Alright, cool. So it's like as I'm coming back to my body, right? I could feel that my body was severely shut down. Like I was aware of myself. It was, it, it's like sleep paralysis, except I could still move. It's just that it feels like I'm like grounded to my bed. It's like I'm like a plasmic being going like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, normally inside those states, I would just wake my body up. 
but I could feel how detached I was from my body. Like, my body was, like, pretty asleep, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty shut down, you know? So from there, I'm like, fuck it. I just got to project at this point, right? It's like, it's at this point, like, I could try to wake myself up, but I felt like that would be more trouble than just trying to just project myself out, you know what I'm saying? So one thing I've been trying to keep in mind is the fact that Brick confirmation. God damn, I got to really focus on this shit. Is that, bro, inside those states, if you just see yourself getting off the bed, you're good. I don't mean, like, feeling yourself get up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, literally just seeing it. Like, like seeing yourself get up. Like, on some imagine, like, you just imagine yourself getting up, you know what I'm saying? Opposed to trying to, like, yeah, make it up, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what, that's what I kind of did. It's like, I was, like, trying to get, like, uh, uh, uh. But, like, as I was doing that, I was, like, focusing on, okay, I'm trying to go up and then go to the door that's going to be right there. And as I was focusing on that, it's, like, it started, like, to form around me. Because while inside that state, everything was dark as shit. It's dark as shit. And I'm, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that I'm coming back to my body. But it's, like, in order to fully come back, I'd have to just sit there. You know what I'm saying? I, and I could have sat there and then fell unconscious and came back to my body. But it's like, I don't want to just sit there then wait to fall unconscious and come back to my body. It's like, it, that's just no. I don't want Because inside that in-between state, that's like the etheric plane and stuff like that, right? And low vibrational entities do like to chill there. You know what I'm saying? And this is not to scare nobody, right? But it's like, if you're inside that state, never mind. Fuck it, no, I gotta say it. If you're inside that state and you're having fearful thoughts and stuff like that, it's not like the best, right? But understand that usually if you're having fearful thoughts, you're gonna wake yourself up anyway. Like the adrenaline's gonna wake you up anyway. But, or you're gonna panic and then wake yourself up anyway. But it's like, I don't wanna just sit there in the event that I think about some bullshit and just see some shit. Even though it's never instant like that, it's just that that's not me. So I'm like, nigga, I gotta get the fuck out, right? So you're like, yeah, I was just like, I didn't fully think in my head, let me just see myself getting out. But I, I, I did have the intent of as I'm coming up, I know that my objective is to go to the door and to open that bitch. And I was kind of like making myself kind of see it. And the image was forming all around me now. So I could actually see my room in the door and I actually went to it and stuff like that. Then from there, I was fully grounded inside that reality, right? And... With astral rejection, right, what happens a lot of times is that you'll have, like, a kundalini spike. Like, you'll have some shit, you'll have, like, your spine going off, right, making energy go to your brain and stuff like that and doing all this shit, right? Like, the CIA talks about it inside their document with the whole hemi-sync shit with the uh, gateway experience stuff, but I always noticed that. Like, one of the first times was the fact that it went up, actually, no. So, one time was the fact that, like, as I was trying to go to the astral, right, I literally felt like it was it was it was it was mad vibration coming from the bottom of my spine going to the top of my head, right? And it, it felt like my spine was gonna actually fucking break. You know what I'm saying? Another time, I felt just a liquid go up and my body just paralyzed itself. You know what I'm saying? And I had to fucking like shake myself awake. It's like I got paralyzed and I could literally like see myself in a different reality and I had to fucking wake myself awake. You know what I'm saying? And then other times, it's like it's like it's been intense but not too intense. And it's like, I'll, it's like I'll be in the astral trying to ground myself, but my spine's still tingling. It's like I could feel my spine while laying down and also standing up inside the astral, and it's tingly as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So I mention that because kundalini stuff happens with inside of, like, like you have life force energy spike up from your spine and go to your brain and do a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, keeping, it, I'm keeping it very vague because... I'm not going to act like I understand the every like, oh, like, like this part of your body shooting this off so that way it could make this effect. Da, 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 da. Like, no, I don't know all that shit. One thing I do know is the fact that you do need to make an electric current. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to make an electric current to make the body and stuff like that. So there is that of generating a real electric current. Then there's also the fact that with the liquid aspects, cerebral spinal fluid does encapsulate your whole entire brain. And I think your body and nerves, too. You know what I'm saying? Which puts you kind of in that see process state to make you like project and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Something along those lines, right? But it, that could be somewhat slightly off. But anyway, well, all that being said, right? Um, when it came to me, I felt my the the very base of my spine felt tingly, but the rest of the energy kind of went up pretty nice, right? And I'm mentioning that because after the experience, I wasn't really tired. Like I woke up feeling energized, right? 
And that's important for what part of the story is going to come up later, you know? But I'm mentioning all that because whenever I feel it super intensely, whenever I come back, I tend to be tired. But I wasn't tired when I came back this time. And I actually, I projected it a couple of times this night. I learned a lot of shit. Even about fucking manipulating reality with the with the power of sound. Shit was wild as fuck. But that's a different video. <laughs> anyway. um, Once I got out, right? I went downstairs. And then I set the intent to meet a spirit guide. Then I was going to leave my door. And I'm like, wait, hold the fuck up. Before I leave my door. 5d spirit guide yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying then i left my door right like i i I went outside out the front door right and then literally that door right there was open like when i went outside i saw that door open from the outside and i knew that meant like my spirit guys are saying hey go inside that door right so i went inside there right but there was no being i'm like Okay, I don't feel like waiting because here's like with me, right? I still want some, I'm, I'm still on some minor scary shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when it comes to me, right? Let's say like there's a being downstairs, right? If I just walk downstairs and I see an Octorian, I'm going to be like, hey, what's good, right? Right? That's cool. It's, it might start on me like, oh, what the fuck? Hey, what's good, my nigga? But I don't want to fucking sit down and then wait to see a being pop out. That's what I don't want. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sit down and then I wait to see a being come. And then it's, and then it's, some, uh, it's some whole other shit. You know what I'm saying? Because now I got to fight. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to be open to that. Like, fuck it. Like, if it's some shit. Because like, cause I wasn't really like, 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 I have mad shit I could use to fight the being off. But I wasn't in that mindset. I'm in the mindset of, nigga... I don't want this experience to end, so I kind of want shit to happen fast, and I don't got time to be fucking having a demon pop up and fucking ruin my whole experience of what of what else could have happened, right? And I mentioned that because I found out why they wanted me to come inside this room, but I already felt like I'd have to, like, sit here and have some shit pop up, but, nigga, I have portals, like, literally over here. You can't see them, but I have portals literally all over here, bro. Like, it's all pictures and portals and shit, you know what I'm saying, that you guys can't see, you know what I'm saying? I use this because when I make videos, right, I let them bitches come through and help a nigga out. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, bro, like, there's gonna, the one of them was going to pop through the portal type shit. In fact, I probably could have summoned a specific one. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm going to do that shit next time. I ain't going to lie. But, anyway, that's why they want me to come inside this room because it's portals inside here. They was going to pop through the portal, right? But because I didn't see no spirit guy, right, I'm like, fuck it. Let me go outside, right? And one thing I always wanted to do was go to my neighbor's house and then just see what the fuck happens, right? Like, I've went inside different people's houses before. Like, one, like I do remember one time, so, 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 so there's a neighbor, right, who is directly, you could say, in front of me, and then to the right of that person, right? The one I went inside of was the one that was in front of me to the right, you know what I'm saying? inside this experience but back in the past i do remember going to the one that's directly in front of me right i remember going to their door and i think i did go inside but everything goes blank from there everything is blank as fuck you know what i'm saying so this time i went to the one that was to the neck that was next to them right which i've went there before actually a couple of times but i'm just now realizing that i've been there before but i didn't know that so, in my eyes, it's, it's the first time I'm actually going inside that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And when I went inside there, they were all having, like, a little get-together and stuff. Like, a little, like, family party and stuff like that, right? And they were super welcoming. And what was funny was that I didn't peep it at the time. But when I woke the fuck up, right, I realized that, hold the fuck up, there's been mad cars outside that crib recently. Like, there's been people coming over to that house recently. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've been... Ha and plus, like... They had, they have been doing it for like the past couple of weeks, really the past couple of months. But there there have been periods of time, right, where they'll be bumping music just loud as shit that like anyone could hear. Like whether it be nighttime, daytime, they just bump music loud as shit. Like like they is the type to have parties, right? But I didn't think about that at all until like uh until after the experience. You know what I'm saying? And not even directly after. I mean like it took a while to even peep that shit. I ain't gonna lie, but. When I went inside there, I instinctively knew that it was like a collective dream. And here's what I mean, right? You know, you know how like people, you know how people believe in hell, right? 
So there are actual like hell realms and stuff like that. But a lot of the hell realms that you'll see are just created by people's belief. So because multiple people believe in a certain idea of hell, they create that astral construct of hell. You see what I'm saying? But it's sustained by all of them. So it's like they make a certain dream reality inside the astral because the astral, there's different layers of the astral. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm going to teach inside my course, you know? But with all that being said, right? I could tell that it was one of those. It's like they're all inside this collective. It's, it's, it's pretty much an astral party, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, because people do party inside the astral, but I call it a collective dream because it's like some people knew that they were in the astral. Other people thought it was real life. And then some were kind of like in this weird foggy dream state. And something I told them, I was like, guys, this is real, but you're dreaming. And I put... I, <laughs> I posted that on my story, like like in real life. Like when I woke up from that experience, I told people what happened in a very minor way, right? And I told people what I told them. But here's why I'm like, damn, that sounds weird. Like what the fuck do you mean by this is real, but it's a dream? Well, think about real life, right? In real life, what you experience is real, but it's also a dream. It's also an illusion, right? So that's what I was kind of getting at, that that this is a real experience on some astral shit but it's also like you're in an illusion because you don't peep that like you don't peep what's fully going on right now you know what i'm saying like it's like be like the people who are unconscious inside this experience they they would be considered dreaming you know what i'm saying because when you're unconscious inside the astral right you're dreaming literally because like people think that dreams like are just made up right it's actually, like, you do have experiences that are made up, right, by your own mind and stuff like that, but you also have a lot of experiences that are not made up, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes it would just be, like, like, like for example, if you're inside the, 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 the 1D astral, right, the 1D astral is pretty much when you are, like, inside a physical, you're inside of an astral overlay of the physical, and it seems just like real life, you know what I'm saying? So there's that, right? That would be like you floating around and then like, for example, if that was me, right? I would have went to their crib, right? And I would have saw everybody asleep. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I saw though. I saw an astral party. You know what I'm saying? If I went there and I saw everybody actually asleep and stuff like that in real time, like if I, if I saw them in real time while inside my astral body, that's the 1D astral. You see what I'm saying? Because it's, it's right next to the physical, right? Now the 2D astral, right? is more etheric based so it's more emotional based right it's more based upon your fears and desires you know what i'm saying this is when you have dreams of being chased by a monster or you have dreams of living out certain desires you know what i'm saying yeah now the 3d astral is a mix of your thoughts and a mix of your emotions right this is where like you really do imagine things at right so it's not because like it's different from the 2D astral because it's not so instinctive and emotional based, right? Like your instincts don't just manifest instantly with inside the 3D astral. You have to actually focus and think about some shit and then feel it and then actually make it, right? You know what I'm saying? The 4D astral is purely mental based, but here's what that means. It's not like you're making it up. Understand that you're not the thinker of thoughts. You're just the observer of your thoughts and then you kind of respond to your thoughts and stuff like that, which will generate new thoughts that come through. You know what I'm saying? But understand that these thoughts are different intelligences, different spiritual energies, right? Which you can experience in a visual way with inside of your dream states. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, like when you're like, like let's say you're at school, right? You may be at school learning some shit, right? You know what I'm saying? You think, oh, I just made that up. No, you're actually learning something that you may be getting taught through your thoughts in real life also, but you're not peeping. So you have to learn it with inside the astral, with inside the 4D astral. So there's layers to this shit, right? Now, where I was at, right, was more of the 3D astral. It's a construct that's made by their emotions and their thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Which this is where, like, most people consider dreams on some imagination shit. You see what I'm saying? So, with that being, that's why I'm like, this is real, but it's a dream. Like, you, like you guys are actually here experiencing some reality. 
but it's not it's not the same reality as the physical reality. It's a dream. But this reality is still considered real because all the people there were actually really there with inside the astral. Some thought it was real life. Some knew it was. It was real because some knew that it was the astral. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, like there's like there's like it's weird because inside the astral, a lot of people know that they're actually in the astral. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people low key know that shit. It's just that they live the astral like it's everyday life to them. You know what I'm saying? Like like their astral self naturally does this shit and that's why even with me like i've been there before because i've noticed it before because like if, 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 like when i had the thought of going to their house right the fact that i even wanted to do that shit like i want like bro i've i've low-key wanted to do that for a while that's why i've done it before even like you know, way back when i was like 16 right i went like down the street and saw some people's house and this was more like i think this is more like etheric astral maybe oh i don't know it wasn't really based upon like fear and desire but it was like how can i put this i don't even fucking know what's called it but when i went there right like i saw like people asleep and stuff like that i saw this one baby right but a person saw me with the baby you know what i'm saying like the baby was asleep but there's a person who wasn't asleep. Because you, you could also be asleep inside the astral too, though. You know what I'm saying? That is the thing. Like, you, you could be asleep inside the astral. Like, I could have went to that house and then saw someone who was unconscious inside the astral. Fully unconscious, right? Because I saw people who were, like, kind of hazy. They're kind of, like, they're, like... Yeah. And like, they're just, like, they're just not fully there because their mind... They're probably, like, also inside of a different astral experience, too, with inside their mind. Because there's different layers. You could You could exist on multiple at once. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's very it's very trippy how this type of stuff works. You know what I'm saying? But um, long story short, what I'm trying to say is that there are people who are aware inside the astral who never bring it back to the physical, but their astral self knows that it's astral. You know what I'm saying? And like with me, because I've naturally had that desire to go to their house. It's like I've already done that before and I've just not remembered it. And I could see why I haven't remembered it. Because when I went inside there, right, I'm like, oh, my God, you guys are so nice. They're like, yeah, of course we're nice. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 right? And I was just like walking around, talking to different people, seeing who was aware, who was not aware and stuff like that. But that's when it's like I was like I started like getting used to the party and I was like having fun there kind of right now. I probably knowing me, I probably ended up drinking some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like I don't even like drinking like that in real life, but I feel, because, like, my, when I was in the astral, it's like I knew that I was in the astral, but it's like, because the astral became normal to me, I wasn't that aware. It's like in real life, right? You'll know that you're in real life, but you're still not that aware. That's why people be like, yo, what'd you do, like, an hour ago? You're like, wait, I have no idea what the fuck I did. Like, let me, actually, let me rephrase that. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you see this video, right, then my whole, this is like, damn. Most okay. You know how if by the time you get to by the time it's nighttime, right? When it's nighttime, right? You can't recall every single detail from your day because you're not aware throughout every single part of your day. Like you may have known that nigga, yeah, I'm in real life, quote unquote real life, but you're not aware of every single moment. It was like that for me inside the astral. You know what I'm saying? And then at some point I was confused if I was in the physical or inside the astral. This is when it started getting really weird. But I was leaving the party, right? And no, no, here's no. I, there was somebody. So from my perspective, right, all I remember was that I was leaving the party at some point, right? And I didn't go through the front door. I went throughout a different exit, right? And then at some point, it's like I thought that I woke back up, but I was also traveling too, because like I was doing, like it was so, because like I was doing stuff. That would never happen inside the physical uh, birth for confirmation, I guess. But it's like, I still kind of thought I was in the physical. Either that or I knew that I was in the astral. And I was trying to see if people in the astral remembered the previous astral experience of the party. Because pretty much I was checking on different people to see if they remember what happened inside the astral. And that was my mindset. Do they remember what happened inside the astral? 
that's what I was kind of thinking. That's why I'm like, I thought I was in the physical, but I was still in the astral. Then I had saw this girl, and I asked her like, "When's the last time you saw me?" Because I had seen her, and this is how I this because this 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 how because it was I pieced together more of what happened when I came back to my body, right? And like over time of like downloading the memory back and stuff like that, right? Because because when, when I first came back, I'll get to that how it was kind of choppy, as you guys are kind of seeing right now, but. I was talking to this girl, and I, I, like, I was like, well, really, a, I should really say a woman, you know what I'm saying? Talking to this woman, especially because she was like, she was probably like, I'm going to say at least 25, could have been 30, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I, I said, when's the last time you saw me? And she said, oh, three months ago. Now, even that is weird, because I don't really remember this woman in my physical, like, I know what she looks like astrally. But physically, I've never seen her before. But when she said that inside my mind, it made sense. I'm like, okay, bet. She does not remember the party because last time I saw her was three months ago in the physical. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever reality that was, that is some kind of reality. Like, I oh, that's like, mm, okay, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Yeah, that's like more of the, that's definitely the 2D astral, because that was very instinctual, emotional, yeah, 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 that's what it is, and inside the etheric astral, you're never, it's hard to be aware inside that bitch, I'm not gonna lie, but, um, anyway, so before we were inside the 3D astral, then niggas woke up inside, then I woke up inside the 2D astral, but I thought that it was real life, you know what I'm saying, anyway, or I could have been as, no, I definitely, that was not, no, they're like, that's not the one, yeah, they're like, no, nigga, no, I completely feel my God's like, no, nigga, you know what I'm saying, definitely 2D Astro, that feels right, you know what I'm saying, but, um, and it's, oh, look, look at that, nigga, 151, my nigga, you know what I'm saying, but, um, well, all that being said, right, well, all that being said, well, all that being said, well, all that being said, so when when I asked her that question, she was like, "Yeah, three months." I'm like, "Okay, cool. Yeah, she don't remember what the fuck happened inside the astral, right?" Now at some point, it's like I was I was kind of at her crib too, which is what is this why it's weird? Because it's like I thought I was on my block talking, like I thought I was on my block in the physical, just looking across the street talking to them, maybe, which I wouldn't even do in the physical. I would I even talk to them in the physical. I mean, actually, you know, the, one of the young bulls talked to me because I helped him with some shit before. You know what I'm saying? Because he needed me for some shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's the only nigga I talked to. And I ain't gonna lie. He started talking to me when I was when I first started going to the crib unknowingly. Because I remember when I started going there. Like I said, I downloaded a lot of shit back. But this was this was when it was weird. It's like it's like, but I was at her crib, and her crib wasn't like that crib. It was so weird because it's like it's like she's it's like she's at this fucking apartment complex, right? And it's like I'm talking to her face to face, but also she's up there, and I'm talking to her from down here. It was so weird, and I remember there was others like I did a lot of stuff that night. I'm not gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm remembering even more since I'm talking about this, which deals with which deals with some completely other shit with me, and my brother, which that's not even related to this experience, but. At some point, me and this girl hop inside the car. And at some point, I'm driving with her, but my boys are also in the car. It's it's like, it's real dream-like at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit's just popping up out of nowhere. It's like, nigga, what the fuck? And at some point, I can't control the car because it's like, nigga, I'm like, I, I'm not in the physical. Like, it's, like it's, it's hard to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? And, like, I'm pulling over. And as I'm pulling over, right, I'm, like, I'm pulling over on a highway. But as I'm pulling over, it turns into a parking lot. And I'm pulling over in front of a cop. And the cop is watching me just drive stupid as shit, trying to hit the brakes and shit and stop the car, right? And at some point, I'm like, yeah, this is all some bullshit, nigga. Like, you definitely left your body and went to a party. How the fuck did you end up here? And I just, like, I'm going to just go back to my body at this point. You know what I'm saying? That's when I peeped that I was tweaking like a motherfucker. Then I came back to my body, right? Now, as I was coming back, right, when I came back, I was, remember, bro, what I was seeing in my head at first was somebody's Instagram profile picture. Now, it's actually kind of weird because I posted about this experience 
on my story. And then that person whose picture I saw liked my story. I mean, they like my story kind of often. Like, often and not often, too, is weird. But I was just, that's just, I don't know. I don't know why. But because that popped up first, it's like, that almost blocked out the memory of the, because I almost did not remember that shit at fucking all. You know what I'm saying? I had to kind of grab that, like, hold the fuck up. Like, I was like, hold the fuck up. Yeah, that shit definitely happened. You know what I'm saying? Then it all came back, right? Then I went back to the Astral at some point, learned about a whole bunch of other crazy shit. Then I, was, then I came back once pieces and everything together, 1055. So let me explain what happened at that party, right? Inside that party, right? 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 Inside that party, the girl that I was talking to, right? I remember this girl from previous Astral experiences, right? I've been to that house before and they've had parties before. And I've talked to that girl before. You know what I'm saying? She's like a little astral ting I would talk to and mess with, I guess, you know? Now, I was thinking, like, is this a succubus? Because I did feel the like the energy. I, I felt the sexual energy, right? But it's not really a succubus. Because she's not really, like, she don't really try to pull me or get my attention or drain me. It's just that when I'm there, we be macking up on some astral shit. It's, this is really interesting, actually. The 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 way that you could live the astral as a physical life is so weird. But because also when I woke up, I didn't feel drained at all, and I was meant, that's why I mentioned that in the very beginning. Because number one, I usually naturally feel drained from the whole spinal electrical circuit generating energy stuff. But it's like I didn't feel tired from that. On top of that, when I was with this girl, I didn't really get drained from her. Like, when I left the party, I left with that girl. You know what I'm saying? And here's when stuff starts getting weird because, it's like, I don't know what happened from there. I'm going to assume that I had an astral hookup, right? That's what I'm going to assume. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to assume, right? I'm going to assume there's an astral hookup and then maybe, like, I went back to my crib. Then I woke back up thinking I was in the physical, but I was more, like, inside the etheric. And that's why I said I'm more in the etheric because... Once once I'm doing astral hookup shit, I'm getting more on like some desire, feeling, emotional based stuff, right? And it's like the stuff that pops up starts starts getting very instinctive, right? You know what I'm saying? Like 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 the way that things were happening, it was just too random. Like it was like for my friends being inside the car, right? Instinctively, I would feel like my friends should be inside the car. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just getting really random and random, and as it's doing that, I'm getting closer to the physical to the point where I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? And I just wake myself back up instantly, right? But backtracking, yeah, something happened between me and that girl, right? Then I went back to my house, and I thought that I was in the fucking physical, right? But it's like, in this reality, I knew that I could still do shit. Like, I knew that I could, like, fly or something like that. Because, like, I was doing stuff like that. I don't know. It was weird. But I was just... You, you know what it is? You know what it is, bro? I instinctively wanted to know. Because even, like, when I woke up in the physical truly, for real, for real, I instinctively wanted to know. Do these people remember? Now, in the physical, physical right now, I'm not about to fucking talk to them and then ask them if they remember this shit. I'm not about to do that. You know what I'm saying? Especially because some of the people that I fucking saw, I don't know if they even are at that crib right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm mentioning all that because I'm peeping that because I thought that inside the etheric plane, it's like I started manifesting the means to have that. Because when you're inside the etheric plane, right, your instinctual emotions manifest very fucking fast. You know what I'm saying? And you could like you could meet you you could actually meet up with real people in the etheric plane. You just think about them, and you just kind of go there. And if they're open to it, it'll be like a whole entire thing, right? You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm curious who this girl is. I wonder if the girl. <laughs> I'm actually gonna peep who lives over there now on like some real shit. I never really peeped it because it's already it's already bare people. It's already mad people. Look. It's already a lot of people over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all know the lingo. You know, it's already a lot of people over there. You know what I'm saying? Then they then they had and they, and they have had family over there for like like i've been seeing hella cars pull up there i didn't put two and two together but so i don't know who that lady is but on some like etheric instinctual shit it's like when i went outside 
it's like I was naturally being drawn and I was naturally seeing shit that allows me to find out if they remember or not, right? Which most of them did not. No one really remembered. Yeah, no one did at all. You know what I'm saying? No one at all remembered. You know what I'm saying? No one. <laughs> but yeah, I still thought, like, I thought I was in the physical though. And everything was just making sense because I was just going off emotion. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, I want to do this. So that allows me to do that. So, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, have an imagina- I have an imagination. I have an imaginary car that I didn't even see myself drive to this girl's house. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't even see myself drive the car to the girl's house to ask her about this shit. In the girl's house, this, okay, that means this girl for a fact, though, definitely does not live there. She's a relative because that's why her house is separate from this house. Duh. Okay. But I didn't even see myself drive over there. I just saw myself there. Like, appeared there. Like, when I thought about the girl, I just appeared there. You know what I'm saying? On some instinctual, emotional shit. So, this on some 2D astral shit. That was, this, this, this was a really interesting experience, you know? But it was fun hopping inside that collective dream experience. And then coming back to the 2D astral and no one fucking remembers that shit. You know what I'm saying? But when the girl said she saw me three months ago, right? That's where I'm like, hold the fuck up. I'm guessing inside the 2D astral, on like some etheric astral shit, I'm starting to assume that I talked to her there. And I think it's the physical. And we both think it's the physical. Or maybe a part of me knows the etheric. But me right, but nah, I think, I think, bro, I thought that was the physical, bro. No, nigga, I thought that was the physical. I did not know, my nigga. 11, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I mean, I know I'm catching every single number, so it's like, it's kind of getting redundant, but it's like 111, bro. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? I I don't know, bro. Nigga, all I know, nigga, all I know is that fucking, that shit was cool as shit. It was cool, because they were all cool as fuck inside that joint, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, like I said, I've been there before. And that's why I'm pretty sure inside, like, I'm, like, for, yo, it's, yo, I could, like, I know this for a fact. While inside the 2D etheric astral shit, I know for a fact that I would be inside there thinking it's the physical, and so would they. And they'll probably be like, hey, what's up? And I'll be like, hey, what's good? You know what I'm saying? I know something like that happened, bro. But, um, cause it feels like some, like, I could tell that in that reality, in the 2D etheric reality and stuff like that, we sometimes do remember the astral stuff. Like, that actually happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain people, especially me and the girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, other people, we don't talk about that shit at all with. And those, those are the same people who, inside the astral, inside the party, they knew they were in the astral, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think any of them bring it back to the physical at all. And if they did, if they, <laughs> imagine if I go outside and they're like, yo, bro, what's good, yo? Like, if, if someone just talks, if someone from over there talks to me today, I'm going to think something's going on. I ain't going to lie. But, um, yeah, I'm going to just end the video right there, bro. This is, like, I got to I gotta make another video about fucking um, manipulating time and space with sound. So, I learned that shit inside the astral also. That was actually very fucking cool. <laughs> and then I also learned about the astral body. More about astral projection and about astral memory and how to like boost all that shit together and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna talk about that shit. I learned a lot of shit last night on top on top of other shit. I can't I can't even fucking recall like that. But um, yeah, that's it for this video, bro. I love you all. I'm gonna catch you on my next video. Peace.